Well, it's December, so happy holidays, everyone. You'll start hearing that a lot, <laughs> so let me be the first. Um, and welcome to the December meeting of the uh, MVF. Just a reminder about the MVF link program. So members can now invite a guest, and we have lots of guests here today, which is great. I want to thank you all for coming out. Um, but we can invite a guest for free. So please, you know, take advantage of the program. And what, what a better way to share our connections and resources and expertise than to expose new people to MBF. So there's no meeting in January, um, but we do have a meeting in February, on February 5th, and our speaker will be Sherry Berry from Sherry Berry Paper. MBF is here to serve entrepreneurs, those leading the growth of early stage businesses through peer networking, uh, topical education events, and to access capital resources. And literally, just in the month of November, there was so much activity in St. Louis. It was so exciting to see um, the Startup Connection events, the Arch Grants events, um, and just me personally, I know I've connected four or five startups to capital resources just in the month of November. And it's, it's a great feeling to do that. So I, you know, Invite everyone out there, use your network, help entrepreneurs to succeed. So, um, any members raising capital that would like to have a table at our uh, event, please see Tim or Cindy, and we'll be glad to have you set up your table and talk about your companies um, at the MBF breakfast. Um, Lewis and Clark Ventures, a uh, new venture fund here in St. Louis, reported raising an additional 25 million to the 71 million that they've already raised to fund startup companies in the Midwest. Gainsight, a St. Louis startup, raised $50 million. Uh, Varsity Tutors, uh, that came out of Washington University, raised 57 million from a group of investors that includes the musician and TV personality, Adam Levine. So, he sings the song Move Like Jagger, if you don't know. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I wish I could dance like him. I'd be a millionaire. All right. Um, Eternal Gen Aesthetics, a startup developing an alternative to Botox. I'm sure that's needed. Has raised $5 million from a group of undisclosed investors. Um, Rivervest Portfolio Company, ZS Pharma, has agreed to a $2.7 billion deal that should close by the end of the year. Arch Grants awarded 11 startups from around the world, um, 50,000 non-equity grants. And then Arch Grants also received one million from the state of Missouri through the Missouri Technology Corp. Uh, Kaifa, an early stage medical device startup developing a test to monitor information quickly and accurately, has raised 2.1 million. So a lot of activity, which is great. Uh, other startup news, Shares of Squares IPO, surged nearly 50% on the first day, uh, making Jack Dorsey and uh, Jim McKelvey very happy. Launch Code received a $350,000 grant from the state of Rhode Island um, to expand into that state. Answers uh, Corporation was listed at number 105 in Deloitte's most recent technology Fast 500 list after growing nearly 850%. St. Louis University and Washington University were recognized by the Princeton Review on its 2016 top schools for entrepreneurs, which is, it's, this is great for the region. Maryland Heights City Council approved a $25 million in public financing to help build a new headquarters facility for worldwide technology um, in Westport Plaza, which is great. Uh, Eclair Technologies, a smart meter company based in Hazelwood, agreed to acquire General Electric's um, uh, electricity meters business. Startup Crowdsource, located over in Illinois, changed its name to OneSpace. Dinner Kits, a startup that hopes to sell ready-made vacuum-sealed meals in local grocery stores, was named the winner of this year's Startup Weekend. And something I just found out, uh, most people don't know, CenturyLink in Chesterfield opened a new 300 and 50-person IT development center in Chesterfield, and it literally has reduced their software update cycles from over one year to tw every 27 days. 
so, which is really exciting. And then EQ Magazine launched in November, so we now have a magazine that is tracking the startup ecosystem. So, and I would invite you to check it out. And that's, you know, based here in St. Louis. So, uh, new members. So I'd like to introduce a couple new members that are here this morning. So Stephanie Engel from Norse Corporation, if you can step up. Thank you. <laughs> Stephanie is the business operations manager at Norse Corporation, uh, which provides cybersecurity solutions. So thank you, Stephanie. Brian Felt from the St. Louis Business Journal, who provided me all those nuggets. So Brian covers technology startups and innovation for the St. Louis Business Journal and manages the Tech Flash newsletter. To learn more about MVF, visit mvfstl.org. MVF, where entrepreneurs go to grow.